Hey, what's up, my friends? Welcome back to another Sprinkler Supply Store product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and you're watching Sprinkler TV. So before we get started, I wanna mention that if you have any questions about the Rainbird ESP ME controller, please drop a comment down below so that we can answer your specific question for you. I'm gonna unbox this controller. We're gonna take a quick look at it, kind of show you how to maybe wire it up a little bit, but there's a lot of other questions that you'll probably have about this. So just drop a comment down below and we'll do our best to answer them. So let's go ahead and go overhead here and take a look at what's inside. Rainbow says comes with a three year trade warranty. It is link ready. So you can, uh, if you purchase the external module, you can connect this up and operate it through the internet. Okay, we're gonna unbox it. This is, oh here, let me show you on the side. This one is the indoor version. Where's the sticker? There it is. So this, um, this particular one is indoor and that's why it says M-E-I, okay, indoor. And um, I'll show you why it's considered indoor here as we unbox it. Indoor controllers come with a uh, pigtail or a plug so you can plug it into the wall. So let's go ahead and take it out. There is some directions in there. Keep those for later. And because there is a cord pre-attached, that's what makes this one an indoor controller. A Typically an outdoor controller just comes with wires dangling out the bottom that you would connect, I have one actually right here, that you would connect your own pigtail to, okay? So a lot of outdoor controllers just come with wires like that and you take your own plug and you wire it up and plug it into the wall or you just hardwire it directly to the, the power source with the junction box and that's typically done by an electrician, okay? Let's go ahead and open it. Rainbow's got some uh, nice instructions here. Let's see what's on the back side. And then you can flip it over and there's a zone chart. That's kind of cool. That's nice and handy. Um, got your typical dial auto run, make sure that you always leave it an auto run if you want it to operate. And of course, turn it off if you do not. Nice uh, large uh, screen, buttons, easy to push. Again, link ready. Go ahead and open it up. And you know what I think we'll do? Let's actually um, remove this face panel, which you can do by just detaching the ribbon cable and then let me uh, just grab a screwdriver here and put a little pressure on this top part to pop it off. Jeez. Come on, Rainbird. You're making that a lot more difficult than it needs to be. There we go. Did not break anything in the process. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at this guy first, since I have it out. There's the panel and let's flip it over. You can see that it says um, uh, nine volt battery goes right in here. That's your, to uh, store your time and date. Um, by putting a battery in there that will not operate your system. So that's actually a pretty common question is my controller has a battery. When the power goes out, will it still operate? And the answer is, is no, it requires 24 volts to operate solenoids uh, and AC solenoids also. And then over here you have the remote ready. So that's where you can plug in your module to um, make it uh, remote ready. And uh, if something happens, you can, you know, order replacement face panels. Okay, and then inside, let's see what we have here. We have our ribbon cable. I'll just take that out. Okay, and then let's start at the top. Okay, we have um, power coming from the transformer. So we have coming into the transformer, we have 120 or thereabouts coming in from your main power source. The transformer reduces it to 24 volts. The transformer is connected to these terminals up here, 24 volt, 24 volt, and the ground. And then this is your sensor terminal. So if you wanted to hook up a um, you know, rain sensor, wired or wireless, you put it right there. 
Uh, don't remove, do not remove this yellow cable unless you have a rain sensor because by removing this cable, you're going to trip the control box into uh, thinking that it's in rain pause. So always keep the jumper in. This comes with four stations pre-installed. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, the top one, actually we have a master valve and the common. So this is the master valve and this is a common. And then you have zones one, two, three, four. You can remove this by switching it to unlock and sliding it out. Keep in mind when you do this, always power down your controller as best practice. Let's take a look at the module since I just removed it. And you can see that there's four zones below and then you have your master valve common, lock, unlock, pretty self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and slide this back in, down, pop it in, move it to locked. Let's see, also comes with wall, wall anchors. Again, depending on where you're mounting this, you might use these or you might use other suitable anchors just depending on the type of material that you're mounting this in. This controller does have up to, I'm counting here, 22 stations. Um, yeah, it looks like this is a 22 station controller. Pretty easy. Um, that's the junction box where your 120 power is connected up and then goes into the transformer. So let's uh, just give you the quick high quality camera shot here. The box, how it's mounted behind. You would want to put your one screw, hang it, and then attach these down here to the wall. Very easy. You've got a couple knockouts on the bottom for your irrigation wires coming in from the field or your uh, rain sensor wire if you're wiring one of those. And yeah, that's about it. I'm sure you might have other questions about this controller, how it operates, how to set it up, programming, what its capabilities are. If you do, drop a comment down below and we'd be happy to answer them. So any other questions, you can reach us by phone, chat, email, text message. And uh, yeah, till the next Sprinkle Supply Store product overview. Happy sprinkling. We'll talk to you then.